After a two-week break, the Ospreys are back in action this weekend when they travel to Italy to face Benetton on Treviso on Saturday evening. Join us now as we look ahead to the game with Rory Thornton and Sam Parry. Rory, busy time coming up. We've got a big run of Pro 12 games, European knockout rugby. It's an exciting time for everybody at the Ospreys. Yeah, it's going to be a big few weeks. Well, hopefully it'll be 10 weeks with uh, the Pro 12 final, hopefully being our aim and the Challenge Cup final. But we're taking every game as it comes. Obviously Treviso first this weekend. So it's going to be a big focus for us again. Another few points hopefully with a win. And then it's building the start then in the Principality. You look at April, Stard, Leinster, Ulster, potentially two European knockout matches. It's a huge, huge month, isn't it? <laughs> yes, uh, it's a big month, obviously. No one's going to be an easy game there. So I think with us, every week, every game, we got to make sure we get our prep right. Because uh, uh, evidently it's how we turn up mentally, I think, and obviously how prepared we are. And I think if we get that right, we'll be all right for them games. We kick off this weekend, as we said, with Treviso away. It's a place where we've come and done a couple of times in the past, so there's not going to be any take anything for granted when we get on the plane on Friday. No, exactly. Obviously, people have been mentioning it as a banana skin in, out in Treviso. They obviously get very uh, riled up for their home games, but I think as long as we get out there with our prep and the way we turn up mentally... I think we'll be able to uh, hopefully get the points out there. As for you, ready to go, you've had perhaps a frustrating time in the Welsh camp, lots of training and having to come back to the region for, for rugby, but now you're back in the camp full time as it were, ready to go yourself personally? Yeah, obviously a little bit of frustration with uh, not being able to get opportunity, but again it's experience for me, still only 22, so it's been great coming back, playing during the Six Nations, but now back fully come back in with the boys it's obviously been a good training week with us we've got a few days to go before the game and I think uh, we're prepping well Our latest fantastic offer in the club shop is 40% off all knitwear products. This offer is available now in store at the Liberty Stadium Club Shop or online at shop.ospreysrugby.com. Season members, you can claim your discount on top. This offer expires at midnight on Friday the 24th of March. Sam, last time up in the Pro 12 was a very cold, very wet night up in Edinburgh, but we got the win that we needed. Uh, Puts us in a good position now for the end of season running, which kicks off this weekend. Yeah, it wasn't the uh, nicest of nights that night, but it was, like I said, good to get, get away with the win and a nice two weeks off now of just training and look forward to the Treviso game. A lot of what we've done this season has been about the tries we scored, but that one was a completely different kind of win. It was built on a defensive effort that was absolutely huge. Yeah, it was good. I think obviously we like to throw the ball ball around, but I think it was good for us to show that we can probably win ugly. And if we have to play like that, we we can adapt and play like that way as well. Now, as you said, a couple of weeks off, and the boys are around to go again. Big end of season run in, some big Pro 12 games left to come, five games, and next week a European quarter final. So it's a busy time, but promise it's been an exciting time. Yeah, hopefully uh, the season goes on a bit longer for us, but like I said, the focus is just week by week now, take each game as it is and just look to get the performance right and the results should take care of itself. By the time we got to the Edinburgh game, resources were pretty thin around the ground, a lot of injuries, you missed a little bit of time, a little bit of game time as well. So with so many boys missing, now the international's over and we're starting to see my boys coming back in, it's probably a huge boost for everybody as well, just to strengthen numbers. Yeah, I think it was testament to the squad depth we got going up to Edinburgh. Obviously, a few boys away, a few injuries, and to get that win. But the boys are back now from the Six Nations campaign. It's just good to get everyone back. Enthusiasm's picked up with the boys coming back in, so it's just good to get everyone back together. And you yourself, after after your week-long training camp out in the Canaries, you're feeling fresh and ready to go? Yeah, it was nice, mate. Nice to get away, get some warm weather training in. But like, it's nice to be back in Clandarcy last week, practicing on the skills, and just looking forward to getting out there this week now.
That's all for now. Don't forget the tickets for the big European Rugby Challenge Cup quarter-final against Stade Francais, the Principality Stadium, on Sunday, the 2nd of April, are on sale now from all the usual outlets at just £10 per ticket, £5 for under-16s. Make sure you get yours now and support the cause and black out the Principality Stadium.